Hello and welcome back to Wicked Havoc Gaming. This is Havoc and this is the second tutorial in my raft building and design series. Um, if you have watched my first video, I have shown you how to lay down the foundation to your raft. So if you need to figure out how to do that, please see that video first. Then come back to this one. This video is for the extension of this raft without the use of foundation. The game across all platforms has been nerfed to where you cannot extend the foundations of the raft anymore. So I have went about it in another direction with extending with ceiling tiles. Um, just like uh, before they nerfed, you can only extend for so far. Um, and in this, it's the same way with the tiles. You can extend one, uh, pretty much one area of tile around this whole thing. And then you can't anymore because you will not have the foundation to attach the tiles to. So you won't be able to make it really big, but you can make an extension. And I'll be showing you how to do that. For this tutorial, you will need 26 tile pieces. I am using stone. Um, you will need um, a stone doorway and reinforced door. Those are optional. You will, however, in fact, need a ramp to get back up onto your raft if you were to fall into the water because you cannot jump from the water onto a ceiling tile. So to do this extension, you will in fact need a ramp or a rope. I have not tested this with the rope. I have in fact tested this with the ramp before making this video. Um, and you will need, um, need optional 36 to 38 wood, uh, stone fences, and I will show you about that as well. So let's start. So as I said, uh, you will need, you're going to need to surround the raft in stone ceiling tiles and come to the center of the tiles as well. The only spot to this that will not be covered will be this this square here where the raft toggle is and I'll show you why show you why in a minute because it's getting difficult but let's start by extending extending out of the raft Um, again, in this video, sorry, just like the last, I am in gob mode with infinite stats and invulnerability because I do not want to accidentally fall into the water and die while making this video. And also, I wanted to be able to create um, the video without having to do a lot of running back and forth. If you cannot have the God mode available, it's still the same amount of mats, but you want to be careful. So if you can't do God mode and build this, like I said, you're going to need your ramp to get out of the water. So pretty much lay a foundation or lay at least a couple tiles down anywhere you want on this raft, but lay at least two or three tiles down and then pick a spot where you would like your ramp. Now, you will only be able to, you can't extend 
beyond this additional square outward of the ramp because you don't have any extra foundation underneath the ceiling tile. So just pick a spot, any spot on your raft, take your um, ramp and attach it as soon as possible, especially if you cannot do God mode. Because if you fall into the water, there we go, you cannot get out. Okay? There's no getting out because you're not jumping from the water to foundation. You're jumping water to the ceiling and you can't get out. So if you do not have God mode or you don't want to use God mode to do this, please, please, just in case so you're, you don't die, uh, lay down a few towels and then pick a spot for your ramp. And put it up. Now, once you've laid the outer of the raft, what I did was I just popped some towels in. Oops, that's not where I wanted that. I popped some towels in the middle, avoiding that area, which I once again hit brushing. Pop your towels down, and it kind of looks pretty nice and seamless. You know, looks pretty. Now, <laughs> excuse me, the reason why I said to avoid this towel here is even with all of this covered, you could still come over here, have easy access to your raft, move it around, whatever you want. Move it, drive it, wherever you please. You have easy access to that whole thing, okay? Now, if you slap a ceiling towel on top of that, you cannot easily just go up and move this raft. You can but you will have to do a lot of this. Moving around to highlight it. So this spot is optional. You don't have to have it covered. You have foundation underneath. This is quite okay if you don't. And for me, I like easy access to this. So I'm just going to pull it up. So it just makes it easier to run over and move the raft. Now, now that is how you extend the raft and you can build whatever you want on top of this. Um, if you watched my last video, however, I did have a box sitting here with mats. I had to pull the box up because when you go to lay the towels down, the ceiling towels down. You can't lay the ceiling towels down on top of the box as if you would if there was a found if it was foundation. So of course I had to pull the box up, you know, to um lay the towel down. Now I didn't try in the last video putting the box on top of the toggle, you know, so, let's see, and there you can, so if you want, when you build this beautiful raft right here, before you even lay down any tiles, you could pop your, pop your box right here on the toggle. And when you build your pieces, put your pieces in the box and go out in the middle of the water and start building. Okay, but let's finish this wrap. So here you have a door. Oh, excuse me. Here you have this um, 
this spot right here where you come out the water. Now, you can either leave it, but if you don't want stuff trying to come out of the water and killing you, I would say add a door so they can't come in. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop me a door right here. And this will be my way out of the water. And that's optional. You don't have to have it. And what I'm going to do is, because I want to see where I'm going, build fence around it. So I don't easily fall off. And if also this is good, so if you're transporting animals, maybe they won't fall. Now, I have not tried this on a live server. I am on a solo game right now. I will be testing this on my server to make sure no crashes happen. So far, nothing's happening as I build it. We shall see. Okay. So I had 38 pieces. So you're going to need, if you follow this design, you're going to need, I had 38, you're going to need like 42. I wish I would have more. So, well, when I do this on my server, I will know that I do, in fact, need 42 pieces for this. This whole design. So, right here, this is your raft. Now... If you want, you know, you could go take you a swimmy swim, whatever. But so far, this is your raft. You can easily get in and out the water, shut the door. So if you take this big thing somewhere, you will not have nothing unexpected coming behind you. You have the fence to stop them from coming on the raft at all costs. Now, if you want on here, I'm guessing you can make another spot that if you plan on transporting dinos, you could do that. And let's see, we'll move around. It's kind of dark. I gotta move around. Such as so far, so far, so good. So, there you have it. That is my tutorial on how to extend your raft. You don't have to extend it if you don't want to. If you think this is way too big, you don't have to extend it this far. You could probably pop some towels in the front, the back, just the sides, depending on how you want it. You extend it as far as you want with as far as the game will allow you. So back here, if you didn't want all of this back here, you, mer you just wouldn't put that back there. You would just, you know, only extend the sides and the front. Or just the sides. Whatever is up to you. But that is basically how you would extend your raft without using the foundation. Um, I hope you've 
found this tutorial helpful in your journey into ARC. Um, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to contact me. Um, have fun and happy gaming.